we're back here fresh. It's going to give us a bunch of new stuff. Is it going to give us new stuff? It sure is. That's what we like to see. Uh, I say see metaphorically, because, of course, it is almost pitch black in here. The bathroom crate. Gotta love it. Oh, no. Please, no. Don't tell me. No! Uh, we're out of room. <laughs> Welcome to the party, stream elements. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that doesn't show up on the chat uh, on screen, but... Oh, and there's the ad itself. Awesome. Uh, so, stream elements, the... I guess the bot finally caught on and typed in chat that I am, in fact, streaming. Right, where are you? Wait, actually, where are you? There you are. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the car, which is over here. Honestly, it might be worth just moving the car. Yeah, I think it might be worth moving the car. Ooh. Yeah, because we're like right in the middle of it. Oh, hi. You go there is where you go. I see. Welcome back from the ads, everybody. We are... Oh, nope. There's another one. No, there's the ads. Okay. I need to learn how to read, is what I need to do. Don't worry about me. Just doing a little tree trim in here. Alright. Uh, take that, take that. Get do I have enough for repair putty right now? Because if so, we do actually need to repair a lot of our stuff. We don't have repair putty. We need chemicals, which means we need... The stuff in there. And I think actually once we get that chemical specifically, we should have enough for what we need. Well, that's a gas cylinder. I don't actually know what the gas cylinders help me make. Are you radioactive? You were radioactive last time. No, I don't think you are. Alright, thankfully, they highlight all the stuff with items in it. Which makes it a little bit easier for me to see. I can't see much more than you can right now. Um, I think there was something down here as well that they were hiding from me. Hmm. Okay, well, a toolbox. We'll take a toolbox. I shouldn't load up too much because we're trying to get the chemicals. You're gonna need to crowbar. Chemicals, chemicals, gas. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Hi. Hi there. go right to the entrance of that, so... I'm gonna have to work quickly. Honestly, there's lights on inside this thing. That's pretty... novel. Wow! A science station with light! I didn't know they could make these. Anything in the toilet? No. Okay, I got the crate there, got the chemical cabinet there. Whoop, and there goes my crowbar. Alright. No more crowbarring for us. 
You're like right outside, aren't you? I can hear you. Yeah, there you are. I'll wait for you to take your leave. And some job. Okay. I think. Are you flashing red? That's alarming. No pun intended. Alright, so clearing out this area has gone pretty well. So far. I have not been spotted by the flying metal octopus. I don't think I will be so long as I am in here. Oh. The bathroom crate. The hazmat cabinet is locked because I don't have the crowbar, but I do have an impact hammer, which I think does the same thing. Yep. Alright, clear them out. And that should be good for now. Oh. Oh, you're just gonna throw radiation at me, are ya? Holy smokes, you're throwing a lot of radiation at me. Ow. Why have you done that? That's mean. Is that even... I think we're actually okay. I think we're okay to make the repairs. We're right on the edge of the radiation, which is horrifying. But let's make some repair, buddy. And let's repair with that buddy. First things first. The hood and the front. Slap. Car crew bumper. Slap it. Uh, steel panel. Nothing a good slap can't fix. Shall I slap you for good measure? Yes. Oh yeah, you're showing off just walking through the radiation like it's no big deal. Uh, wait, wrong indicator. So, yeah, you... Not horribly damaged, but you're a little bit damaged, so I can use what little I have left here. Yeah. That's fine. So, uh, if I move along here, I should come to another thing. Another group of science things, and then we'll just... Keep following the mountain up. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Ah. The lovely Pacific Northwest. It really is quite beautiful. I know I've said that a lot. But I'll keep remarking on it. It's... Hey, we've got a saw to tangle with this time. Such a beautiful area of the country. You know, uh, even the real one without the anomalies. Do you stop there? Huh. You do. Well, fortunately, that's not going to be that hard to work around. Oh, you are, however, irradiated. So that's a problem. I might not go in there, actually. Uh, what do you got for me? Science stuff. Uh, impact hammer is honestly 
on its last legs. I wonder if... So our mission is to get to the junction, and I don't know where that's going to lead us. If it's going to lead us to a new section... Actually, I don't even know if that changes my decision. I think... I think I'm relatively well stocked right now, and I'm just gonna head to the junction. Honestly. So, let's just see... The rest along here. Oh, there's a gas station there. That's nice. Are you getting closer? Can't shake the feeling you're getting closer. It might just be the sound playing tricks on me. In any case, we're just going to work our way up the mountain towards the junction. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. A little bit cloudy, but you can still see some stars. Yeah, this junction's uh, in a pretty scenic spot. Uh, okay, we've got an electrical tower coming up. Barely anything over here, but there is a building. Even, oh, that's the gas station, actually. Should we try it? Should we try doing the gas station? How's our gas right now? Our gas is actually relatively good. Honestly, let's just keep pushing. Let's just go straight for the junction. Oh, wow. The, uh, the fog is thick here, though. I may want to be careful. I'm faster than electricity, right? Oh, we have another saw up here. And purple wisps. They're getting angry. Alright, I think we're on the right track. Yes. So, I believe this junction up here should help us complete the mission. I hope to God we do not actually have to reactivate the towers. Because it's not indicating that on the map. And it is seemingly pointing us toward... What are you? Oh, you're loot. That's fine. I, I'll pass that up for now. It is seemingly indicating that this is where we need to go. Hum to tea, hum tum to tea. Yeah, there's our junction. Well, the moon is very bright. That's not a light, that's not the junction, that's just the moon. <laughs> All right, please, please. I'm crossing my fingers, please. Ah, oh, the mission isn't over yet. We've got to go here. Looks stable. Yeah, looks like it might be stable. He said, hoping. Recover some of the resources that were used to make them. Yeah, no, okay, hold on. The matter of deconstruction should have given me that. Stabilizer. Artisite. Blistering Woods. Outer Zone. Oh, there's more towers. Wait. All three stabilizers need to be linked for this to Shit. work. Shit. This actually is... This actually is the mission that I failed that last time. Okay, no, hold on. We need to stop and think here for a second. What is that? Is that the last place that I... 
died. That might be the last place I died. That looks like a tombstone. You don't even have this on the, on the legend. Okay. So what we learned last time is that we do not want to be too far away from a gate when we activate the last thing. Unfortunately, all of the gates are near a place. Huh. This is going to be tricky. We need to decide what order we want to tackle this in. That's the last one we activate. It's probably going to be like over there, right? It's going to activate the one that's farthest away from us. I don't know if we can optimize this, frankly. Except maybe going for the middle one? Maybe going for the middle one last will force us to, to be closer to one of these. I think that's about the only thing we can hope to optimize here. So otherwise... Let's go here, and then back down, across whatever that is. Now we'll get there, and then there, and then we'll go around the long way and hit that. I think that's the strat. Okay, so we'll follow the paved road for now. Thankfully our car is in reasonable shape. And frankly, our car was in good shape the last time we lost this section, so... I'm not sure car condition has much to do with it. What are you? You're something new. That's very bizarre. Looks like purple fire? Alright, so the mission is clear. We get up to that tower. Activate it. And then do the same for the other two towers. Tower-based gameplay is inescapable in the modern gaming world. And I believe this is the dirt road to get us there. Yes. Following the dirt road should, should, get us where we need to be. I should maybe slow down a bit. I don't want to get too excited. Ah, balls. You're really making this difficult for me, aren't you? I wonder, I think I should just... I should go off-roading a little bit here, just to get around the Wheel of the Wisps. And then back on the road. Lickety-split, like nothing ever happened. Okay, we go around here, past this little electrical thing. It is nice, because I have been here before. I have a vague understanding of what this area looks like. And... We are in tip-top shape. Uh, now, if I just remember, the entrance is around here. Whoops. Banging my head against the fence. Alright, come on. We can do this. 
zap spark. That's not a good sign, but <laughs> the mission is the mission. All three towers need to be active. And now one is. Perfect. I could go around here, but frankly, I think the better move is to go back the way we came and try to get this other one. So, we'll do a quick about face. And follow the dirt road again. The not quite as jaunty or exciting alternative to follow the yellow brick road. We are following the unpaved dirt road out in the Pacific Northwest exclusion zone. And you. Yes, you. I'm gonna go around again. I think I'm gonna go around. Just getting a little bit, a little bit off-road, a little bit off-road, nothing, nothing fancy. Okay, trimming some trees. Is a forest, it has plenty. Okay. Perfect. Like it was nothing. It really kind of sounds like something's following me, but I'm going to choose to ignore that. Proceed with my mission. Okay, the car, the car's getting a little bit wacky. And so the next thing should be over here. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder if the obstacles change based on whether it's day or night. Feels like they have a different flavor. Uh, okay, again, we're gonna try off-roading a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna get enough out of your range. But we're gonna try. And I think we're doing okay. Yeah. map? Oh, okay, we're... We're definitely not where we need to be. What did I miss? I always miss this one. We should be about to hit a dirt road. Well, we're even more about to hit trees and rocks. But, here's the dirt road. Try going around. Yeah. That's good. Now we're on the right path. And I can see the tower right up there. Battery's fine. Fuel, eh. Fuel's a little bit... iffy. Probably should start looking for ways to conserve or replenish. Moving on. Yeah, we're definitely on the low fuel side of things. Something about the sound of the car is really relaxing. I do love car sounds. Growing up, when I was a kid and my, my parents would always drive me around, I would fall asleep in the car so easily. The engine sounds are, are very soothing. All right, let's see if we have fuel that we can siphon from this here guy. I'd say, uh, wow, you're empty. Okay. The universal experience, yeah. A car engine is a very comforting sound. Alright, there's got to be other cars that we can siphon. 
Just gotta be careful and take it slow. And not get electrocuted by random groups of tourists. I don't... I don't think you're supposed to do that. Tourists, I don't think you're supposed to be live at God knows how much voltage that is. Yeah, especially, especially like, stuff like this, like, car engine in the rain on a rainy night, that's, that's peak vibes right there. Alright. We can take that. Got a decent amount of fuel, but not a ton. I wish I can still enjoy car rides, but I've become car sick as I've gotten older. See, actually, weirdly, it's the other way around for me. I used to get car sick so much when I was a kid. I don't know what changed exactly. Maybe I'd started riding in the front seat more often, so... I don't know. Maybe that contributed to it somehow. And certainly I don't get car sick when I am myself... Okay, uh, when I am myself driving. Okay, good, good. Oh, hey, it's radioactive now. I love when they just throw some radioactivity on me. Thankfully, I should be safe inside of the car. Okay. What's the... What's the line here? I think we're across it. Park real quick. I've heard that the back seat is usually far worse for car six, so you might be onto something. Yeah, that's... That's the only... That's the only thing I can think of, because when I was a kid, I was always sitting in the back seat. So... Yeah, if I follow this around, that'll take me past this thing, get me on the road, and we can make our way up there. Okay, so we don't need to go crossing over <laughs> country in order to get there. And maybe even we'll cross some cars on our path and we can siphon. Oops. But yeah, the back seat, I know it definitely... I've heard that similar things happen with turbulence on planes. Turbulence is like, I'm major scared of turbulence. Uh, so I'm always looking for ways to uh, alleviate that somewhat. And part of that just comes down to physics, right? Like, the heavier a plane is, the less turbulence it's going to feel. I am breaking in with an impact hammer. Don't be alarmed. And a similar thing happens um, with where you sit on the plane, apparently. If you're ahead of the center of mass, you actually jostle around a lot less. Or wait. No, I think it's ahead of the ahead of the wingspan. If you sit ahead of the wingspan, uh you're technically closer to the center of mass because they try to front weight planes to keep them passively stable. So if you're sitting closer to the center of mass, you jostle around less, or there's less, like, rotation. I don't know if it's good for me to keep, like, turning stuff off and on is what's worrying me about the engine. tourists electrified on this map. I don't care for it. They're already, like, creepy enough just being mannequins that sometimes move around when you're not looking. 
And sometimes they're just like half submerged in the earth and they look like they're coming out of a grave. And now you add electricity to the mix. It's like you're trying to get me to hate these guys. They're just tourists. Uh, hello there. Are you? You look more like a jump than an actual thing that I can siphon, but I can try. Out in the rain. Uh, that feel when I want to go out and buy juice because the store closes in an hour, but also the EP uh, allegations, but also if I don't go now, I have to wait until tomorrow. Yeah, you're in a bit of a dilemma. Wait, you're like, I think you're like four hours ahead of me. Something like that. Oh, yes, we do have fuel. Okay, we can use that. Is there more than one? No, I don't think there is. That's fine. That's still a good amount of fuel. Yeah, you're in a... You face a decision, Ball, frankly. Um, what? You're like, you're like four hours ahead of me, so it's like... Yeah, I think if my if my math is right... It's currently 9 p.m.? Wait, okay, you're way more than four hours ahead of me. Uh, it's currently, like, 3.16 p.m. here, so... You're, like, a good... Six hours ahead of me? Damn. Where does the- where does the time zone line happen, actually? What- what is the line that's one hour ahead of Greenwich Mean Time? Or wait, is it ahead or behind? I always forget. Oh yeah, that's more than enough fuel to get this done. Perfect. And look, the sun's even rising. We're optimistic. Okay, that's done. Just gotta follow the road that way. That'll take us around, and we can follow the network of roads up to the last tower. And hopefully, hopefully, not die this time. Be not alarmed by... Okay, we're actually getting a little bit too far off the beaten path here. Here's a road. This looks like a road, I think. Yeah, that's a road. Ah. The comfort of a dirt road is not something you think you'll feel. But compared to running over actual, just unpaved terrain, it's a real treat. I tried to look at a map of time zone and quickly got overwhelmed. That's way too many. Yes, that is way too many. Um, the real, the only thing that I really need to know is, like, are you, uh, nope, okay, you, okay, I was worried about that. The only question was, were you ahead or behind of Great Britain? And by how many hours? I should just, I should just actually look up time zones. I don't know, because I'm used to do I'm used to doing conversions between uh, here and Great Britain, which is a four-hour time difference, I believe. But I'm not as certain. Oh, you fine. Have me. I'm not as certain where the time zone lines are within Europe an hour behind me when I googled it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm, I'm like vaguely, I'm vaguely placing the the dividing line somewhere between the Isles and the uh, and the Baltic Sea. Maybe I could be wrong. I'm guessing. What is this area actually? I didn't. I didn't stop and look at this. Hold on. Uh, do we have? Do we have the resources for repair, putty? We should do. I believe we do because our car is taking a bit of a beating, and we might need to repair on them. How many of these can I make? I can make two of these. So far, that's the only use I've had for chemicals. So. Yeah, you first. But yeah, we do summertime, uh, if that's something you always do. So, I think we would call it daylight savings time, where it shifts by an hour or so. Because Google what time zones uh, Sweden would be in, and it says Central European summertime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have seasonal variations in our hours here. Sometimes. There are certain states that just don't do it, which makes for a very confusing experience. I think Nevada? Nevada might not do daylight savings time. Uh, okay. Tires. I should focus on tires. Summertime starts a lot later than y'all's, if I'm not mistaken, too, because it's a bit darker for us, a bit longer than for all. Yeah, that that also makes sense. The the latitude would be a big factor in it. You're actually doing pretty okay. All right, what uh, what status? What status? <sighs> this door, that door, back door. That panel. Eh. I think we can afford to swing it. At the very least, we can wait till we're up there to assess. We have a, a bit of a journey up, up the slope. Oh, more electrified tourists. Okay, so if I get too close to them, it creates a problem. And that does damage me a little bit. That damages my car. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this is the way I gotta go. A lot of electrical stuff. A lot of electrical hazards in this area of the map. Oh, and a radiation hazard, too. They really make me thread the needle here. Radiation will damage my car, but it will not damage me so long as I'm in my car. Also, that was relatively brief. We should be okay. You, on the other hand, are going to try and zap us, aren't you? Oh no, you're nice. You're a nice tourist. There's a part of me that desperately wants to try and loot all of the fuel that I see here. And I think that might be a good idea. The good old three to five hours of sunlight in winter. That sounds awful. I'm not going to lie. We already get shorter days here, and it's miserable. Why will you not? Seriously? You're gonna make me... Oh, uh, you're gonna make me do that, aren't you? Okay, well, I can just store the repair putty here. That's fine. Three to five hours of daylight is... miserable. Do you have any fuel? Come on, tell me you have some fuel. You have some fuel. You wake up in darkness, you either go to school or work in darkness, you clock out and go home in darkness. And somewhere in between, you might have seen sunshine through the window of your day. Yeah. It doesn't help that a lot of 
like work and school happens during the hours when the sunlight would normally be available. Uh, excuse the face full of leaf here. We're just collecting some fuel. It's sort of... We sort of have similar problems. Not to the same degree, obviously, but... Are you moving? Don't move. We have... A... You know, our work schedule lines up with the sunrise sunset as well um just because the sunrise usually happens for us around like eight to nine ish a.m in the winter and the sun sets around like five to six something like that oh i even have extra in this fuel can that's cool it's a nice thing to have no don't don't shoot the car. It's still work hours, which is, it sucks. Because it's it ultimately brings about the same thing of, like, you wake up, go to work, all in darkness, and then maybe get a glimpse of some sun through the windows. And, oh, uh, yep, no, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, we're less fine now. Mm. do it. Come on. Okay. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. I was right to reserve some repair, buddy. We are damaged. Oh, we are damaged. Um... Do we have any more? No. Okay, so we need to be we need to be strategic about what we're repairing here. Basically, all of the doors are expendable. I mean, I'm really I'm just gonna focus on repairing the components that I actually like. That are actually good components. I'll save those. That's less than ideal, but it's workable. There might be some junk we can pick up along the way. Our fuel is great. And our battery is fully charged. That's no problem. Actually, there's a lot of good scrap here. Let's let's grab that scrap. Grab that scrap. Yum, 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 yum. Yes, please. All of it. Oh, it's raining now. Crude door. Give it to me. Give me all your wealth and resources. Okay. A decent amount of stuff. I don't know. Anything that we can build out of. Hair putty. See, our problem is that we lack chemicals, which I'm not sure... I'm not sure we have any place to get. I really should go buy juice, because I know little gremlin me is going to be awake all night and be like, Damn, should have bought juice. This water just ain't enough flavor for me. Have you considered flavored water? <laughs> but yeah, if you gotta go get juice, go get juice, girl. Juice waits for no one. <sighs> you do on occasion? See, I've never actually had flavored water. I've, I've always been lucky enough that I've never... Okay, so I could make panels and doors if I needed to. So that's a way that we can get around not being able to build repair, buddy. I've always been, like, pretty non-picky about water. 
I couldn't tell you why. Hello. You're just in the road. So usually I can... I can get down with water. Water is like... Water is my favorite. And... I've never had the occasion to try flavored water. Unless you count, like, a restaurant bringing you water with a lemon as flavored water. I don't really count that. Oh, God, it's just every, everything everywhere. It's all disaster. Can I, like, go around you? I feel like I want to go around you. My tires may not like this at all. But I think the car overall will be better for it. Another thing I've never tried is those those little flavor pods that you can just like drip into your water. I've seen those advertised, but I've never I don't think I've honestly even seen them in stores. Maybe I'm just not looking for them. But hello. What is this inviting golden light here? Oh, this is a trap. This is a trap if I've ever seen it. Also, I need to turn here. So we're just gonna try and weave our way through. Just be super casual about it. Okay, you're taking me a little too close to that guy, and I don't like that. Up and over here is the way to go. Yep, car doesn't like that I'm on such rough terrain, but that's fine. It'll get over it. Oh, and I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Ah. Look at that. Our third final tower. Now, do we want to try just straight up I scrap my own doors? It honestly might be better. It honestly might be better to scrap and then rebuild my doors than it would be to get repair putty. Because repair putty needs chemicals. So if I can just... I can just effectively recycle my doors. This is... This can't be a viable scrap. I refuse to believe it. Oh, well, the scrapper... The scrapper died before my panel did. Uh, do I have any more scrapper? No, I need to build a scrapper. Um... Boom. Fresh scrapper. You love to see it. Alright, take the rest of this panel. Okay. It did not like that. That's fine. Honestly, the panel is not the end of the world. What do we need? Back two doors, back two panels. Back, back everything, honestly. Um, the tire has seen better days. What's going on with you? Can I just make another tire? Well, let's try this. Okay, now we do have some resources here. Fortunately, I am 
on top of one of them. There it is. And we can make another panel. This is probably... I'm probably losing resources in the process of this, but... I'm willing to take that sink in order to... get a car that has full health for the coming trial. Or at least as close to full health as I can manage. God, they really just love... They love putting this under my tires, don't they? Tape. Okay. We're playing a, we're playing a delicate game here. It's like a pixel. Uh, that was another panel. And that goes there. Top notch. Now what about you? You're still in relatively good condition, so I'm expecting... Oh god, it all goes under the car. It all goes under the car. Alright, we're moving you. Alright, turn that on. Reverse. And back out we go. Me still looking at the clock like, I really should go, huh? And then I don't. <laughs> it's, uh... Are you, are you in a comfy spot right now? Are you, like, relaxing? Because that might explain it. The unwillingness to obtain juice. Crude door. This can't work, right? This can't be the best strategy. You're fine, you're fine. What are we still lacking? Oh, that door... Wait, that door is fine. Tire's fine. The only thing that's really lacking here is the back door, and frankly, um, I don't care much about the back door. Everything else should be okay. Alright. It's just very boring going alone. Usually I join VCs, but there's like none going on that I see. Ah. Uh, well. I, uh, can't say that I can offer a VC right now. Oh, God. I need to move. But, I'm gonna be here for another hour, still, at least. So, do what you gotta do. Is that... Yeah, 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 okay. We do gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, cool. It's right there. I can see it. Unfortunately, it is still a ways away, but... I might be able, if I'm lucky, to tank some of this. And just go straight there. It's gonna be rough. My car is not going to like it, but... It's probably possible. It looks like it's right there. Maybe? Okay, okay, that's fine, okay. Down the slope is always a hard part, but we can make it. I see the light. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Seriously? Get out of the way. Uh, wow, I think I might actually be a little bit stuck there. Go figure. It's fine. 